Another severe weather Sunday. The heart of the country facing threats from hail and possible tornadoes. But one of the scariest moments happening in Ohio, where a man was struck by lightning at a major league soccer game. ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with more on that and the devastating flooding and tornadoes that have already caused so much damage. Lindsay. Good morning, Bianca and Dan. The man who was struck by lightning went into cardiac arrest, had to be resuscitated, and is still in critical condition. It has already been a weekend of wild weather, and for about seven states in the waterlogged Midwest and Plains, it's set to get even worse. In Columbus, Ohio, a shocked soccer stadium after a man was struck Before by a bolt of lightning. <laughs> Minnesota's Prior Lake overflowing at a rate residents have never seen before. We've got a constant inch or two in the basement. Neighbors banding together to place sandbags to try to protect their homes. The severe weather bringing blinding rain. Take a look. This driver in St. Paul, Minnesota, barely making his way through the torrential downpour. In Wisconsin, a downed tree setting power lines on fire and a tornado in Texas that brought down this wall. And all of a sudden the wind just started picking up real bad, you know, and I heard a noise like like, like a train real loud, you know, and, and uh, all of a sudden the, everything started shaking. The twister also destroying roofs, cars, and shattering windows. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, high winds gusting, shredding apart this building and sending debris flying. So look out for those severe storms and even some potential tornado activity. There have already been about a dozen twisters since Friday. Bianca? Mother Nature wreaking havoc. Lindsay, thank you. And tracking all this weather has been a full-time job the last few weeks. It's a busy day once again. And meteorologist Bill Kelly is here from our Columbus, Ohio station, WSYX. Good morning, Bill. And these storms literally hitting close to home for you. Yeah, Crew Stadium. I pass it every day going there to work. That's a scary situation. We look back over the last 12 hours at this radar. We had over 70 reports of severe weather across the across the country and this morning where we're really focusing in on is you folks that are living in central and western parts of Tennessee three to six inches of rain already this morning around the Memphis area widespread flooding but there will be more violent storms today about seven states under this elevated risk the best chance for that for at least the moderate risk there is going to be into central and southern parts of Iowa northern sections of Missouri where we're talking about the potential for very large hail damaging winds and even that possibility of tornadoes. And the other thing we've been talking about seemingly for weeks and weeks and weeks is the rainfall. Many of you have had at or near record rain for the month of June. You're going to add more to the bucket today. Coming up, we're talking about the potential for tropical weather as well.